right, here we go. Uh, workout two, week one. So we've got another workout with different exercises today, but the entire concept still remains the same. You're going to be doing supersets with one minute rests. And after you're done all of the exercises, then you're done the workout for the day. Just a quick reminder, because I forgot to mention it earlier, I do want you guys still trying to do your warm ups and cool downs before you're exercising. So for a warm up, if you want, you know, maybe go for a uh, jog up and down the stairs a couple times or do one big jogging lap around the house or uh, I don't know, like do anything to kind of get your blood flowing and get moving. And then if you want to go ahead and do those dynamic stretches, but you know, make sure you get your warm up in. And then at the end of the workouts, make sure you do your cool down. So just making sure that you're stretching and making sure that we're not getting injured later on. But anyways, we'll get back to it. So here are the exercises for workout two. So the first thing I do, you're gonna do body weight squats and you are going to do a wall sit. So how's it gonna look? Um, okay, so I'm gonna start from the front. So when you do your body weight squat, have your feet about shoulder width apart and you are going to bend your knees, push your butt back, you're gonna get low, as low as you can and then back up. And then you'll do it over and over again. And then how it would look from the side would be, I'm got my feet wide, I'm pushing my butt back first, dropping my core as low as I can, and then back up. And then what you're going to do, oh yeah, a couple tips. So make sure that you evenly distribute your weight across your foot. So if this is my foot, this is my big toe, and this is my pinky toe, and this is my heel. You want to make sure that you're maintaining three points of contact so your your weight is evenly distributed amongst your heel, your big toe, and your baby toe. And you also want to make sure that when you're doing your squat, kind of like we would do in warm up for class every day, that your feet are staying flat and that they're not popping up and off like that. Because if your knees if your heels come up off the ground, you're at a greater chance of, you'll be at a greater chance of like hurting your knees later on. So just make sure that your foot's flat and that you go as low as you can go and then back up. I'd rather you just go as low as you possibly can and back up than go too low with bad form, meaning your heels come up and then hurting yourself. So you're going to do a set of 15 body weight squats and then you're going to do a wall sit. So you go up to the wall and you would drop your butt down against the wall and then you would have your, um, you wanna get your knees to like a 90 degree angle. So these would be my legs and this would be my thigh, I guess. And then make sure they have that 90 degree angle between your feet and your thighs. So the first superset would be 15 body weight squats and then immediately after you're holding a 20 second wall set. You rest one minute and then you do it all over again. Second thing we're gonna do, <laughs> you're gonna do a, uh, a bench dip. So for the bench dip, what you're, what you're gonna do, um, you're gonna find a couch or a chair and you are going to go up against it. That's my girlfriend's house coat, not mine. <laughs> you're going to put your arms up against the bed like this and your feet are gonna go straight out. And what you're gonna do is you're going to lower your body down and then push yourself back up give you a better view here. So I'm lowering myself down to about 90 degrees where my holes are and pushing myself back up. Lower myself down, back up. Okay, and then the, uh, the next one is, so you're gonna do your bench dips, you're gonna do five, and then you're going to do mountain climbing. So we've done these, some of you have done these before. You get into a plank position and you're going to do like, it's almost like you're running or like an alternating hop where I'm going to put one leg up first and then I'm going to switch with the other. So when you're doing it faster, it would look like this. So for the superset, you're going to do five bench dips and then you're going to do 20 seconds of mountain climbers and then rest for a minute. And then you'll do it over again and over again. And then the last one you're gonna do, your last superset, you do standing calf raises and then side planks. So 
for the standing calf raise. Put your feet about hip width apart and all you're doing, and if you need to, put your hand up against a wall or a dresser or something like that, uh, you're going to, by hinging at your ankles and pushing up with the balls of your feet, you're going to lift yourself up like this, and then you're going to go back down. So it's going to work uh, your calf here. So which, and then how I want you to do it, if you can, try to remember to do this tempo. Try and go two seconds up, and then two seconds down. Two seconds up, and two seconds down. And then you'll be doing 15 of those. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do a side plank. So you're going to put an elbow down on the ground and be on your one side. Try to make your, uh, body as most in line as possible. So like you should look like this and not like a, like a banana shape. <laughs> so trying to make sure that my chest and my feet are on the same line with my elbow. And all you're gonna do is you're going to lift your hips up and you contract, like squeeze your core. And you should feel a burn on the side of your body that's closest to the ground. So how it would look is you're, I'm gonna push myself up like this and I'm going to hold it for 15 seconds and then I want to drop and then I would do the same thing on the other side so you can see my body's in line, elbows down, elbows in line with my knees and my feet and my hips go up and I'm holding, uh, bracing my core and holding it for the 15 seconds. So for this superset you would do your 15 calf raises and then you would do uh, your side planks you do 15 seconds on each side and then rest for one minute so you get through those three sets and then you're all done so like i said before make sure that you're warming up and you're cooling down a couple stretches that we did before in class we would do the long glute stretch where you pull your one knee over like that we did the i don't know what to call it um this stretch where you <laughs> lie down put your one foot on top of your one thigh and then you're pulling it towards you like this, and then you mix it up, making sure that the one arm goes in that hole between your two legs, around the leg to pull towards you, and it feels good, or a good hip stretch on the knee that's up. You could also do the groin stretch that everybody kind of knows how to do, and you guys can also do uh, where you would touch a toe, so I'm trying to Touch my toe here for a hamstring and lower back stretch. And then finish off with the standing quad stretch where I would bring one leg up like that and I just hold this for 40 seconds. 40 seconds per stretch. All right, so that's the end of uh, workout two. If you have any questions, send me an email or post it on the uh, Google Classroom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good one, thanks, bye.